everybody and today I'm back with another video and I'm going to be going over the mental rules to trading. A lot of people they don't keep in mind how important mental and psychology is when trading. It is about 80% of trading. Anybody can learn to read charts, anybody can learn to have a strategy, anybody can follow signals, but not everybody is going to have the mental capacity and the right mindset to be able to consistently go in and out of the market and be able to consistently get profit. That's just what it is. There's a lot of things outside of the charts that play a big part that people tend to look over. So I'm going to be going over a few mental rules that I have written down right here in this book that I'm going to be going over that I feel everybody should at least pay attention to and keep in mind. You don't have to follow all of them, but as long as you take maybe three to four and you keep them in mind and apply them, they're gonna play a big part in your trading. So right now, you don't really gotta pay attention to the chart. I just have this chart in the background. This is just gonna be a more of a me talking to you guys type of video because this is very important. Not a lot of people go over rules to having mental trading rules. They overgo, they always have confirmation to get into trades, trade plans, but no one goes over having a mental trade plan. No one has mental trade rules. No one, there's a reason a lot of people don't succeed in this industry and it's because all of them are focused on concepts that don't work and all of them are focused on the concepts instead of focusing on yourself and bettering yourself as a trader mentally physically and spiritually so the first rule not really these aren't even all rules these are just things that everybody should keep in mind but trading is stressful and will be a hard journey a lot of people don't really go over it trading is not easy a lot of people come into trading thinking they can come in, make a million dollars, and just retire, invest it easily because everyone makes it seem easy. Everyone posts their wins on social media. That's gonna play into a whole different part, but social media plays a big part also. But it's going to be hard and it's going to be stressful and you're going to cause yourself a lot of stress if you go into trading not understanding that it's going to be hard. If you go into trading expecting it to be the hardest in your life, when things happen, you're not gonna get caught off guard you're gonna expect it and you're gonna know what to do to basically revive yourself and continue from there this is the next little rule is very important you guys have to eat healthy eat healthy you guys are probably wondering why why is that important this is trading i'm trying to learn about charts do you guys know how much time you spend on these charts staring at a screen long nights five hours or six hours straight probably not even drinking water not eating just looking at a screen hurting your head you're gonna get headaches you're gonna hurt your eyes people don't realize what they're doing until it's too late and that's something i came up, i learned myself personally because i spent a lot of time on these charts as a beginning trader not eating not drinking water just not taking care of myself mentally physically none of that and you pay you pay for it later when you start losing trades you start getting headaches you start not wanting to be on the chart and your body starts paying for it because mind you guys are sitting down for long hours at a time that plays it's like school say you go to school and you're a trader when are you getting active when are you walking around if you're not going to the gym or at least play a sport you're what are you doing when are you moving when are you getting active you're sitting there trying just Punch back over like a scalper, just looking at charts and computers all day. It's not healthy at the end of the day. That kind of plays a part going into three. Exercise, go to the gym, or at least play a sport. Physically, you need to be in good shape. Because for what we do in our industry in this niche, we're not really active. We sit here, we look at a screen. That's really all we do. Everything else is mental. We just sit here and look at a screen. That's all we're doing physically. We're not moving. We're not eating, we're not drinking anything. We're just sitting here looking at a screen, just anticipating what price is likely to do. You need to exercise, be good. Hell, you gotta be good physically because that's all gonna help you mentally. If you work out and you guys, anyone watching this, you could tell anybody put in the comments, working out helps you mentally. It keeps you in a good mood. It keeps you having that ambition to keep going forward. If you're sitting here looking at charts all day and you do nothing with your life, you're going to become unhappy and you're going to end up depressed. And that's just what it is. I don't want to get into depression or any of that right now because that's a whole different thing that I don't want to get into. But we're just going to move on to the next thing. You need to have goals to chase. 
I know a lot of you probably, oh yeah, we all know that, but a lot of people don't. If you don't have goals, you're not going to know what you're doing. You're going to get caught off guard. If you have goals, you're always going to have something that you're working towards and it's going to keep you going. If you have no goals, if you don't have things trade-wise that you want to accomplish, you're not going to have that motivation to continue waking up every morning. You're not going to have that motivation to take five losses in a row and continue going. You're not going to have that motivation to lose $10,000 and put more money in the market trying to make it back. You're not going to have that motivation if you have no goals. The difference between people that have goals and the ones that don't is the ones that do have goals, they tend to succeed. And the ones that don't have those goals, they never make it to where they want to be. Five. Focus on you and only you. Stop being on social media. The trade community in social media is one of the worst communities I've seen. Nobody posts their losses. Everyone's a millionaire. They're always posting their wins and they're all six figure, seven figure traders. When in reality, 95% of traders, they don't win in this market. And a lot of people don't go over that. How is everyone on Instagram a six figure, seven figure trader when 90 to 95% of traders aren't even profitable? Make it make sense. Social media is a bunch of cap and they only post the wins and never the losses. These people might take four losses in a day and they might just post that one win that they took afterwards and they didn't even recover those losses. But you don't know that because on social media and you see what they want you to see. They don't show you what they don't want you to see. Keep that in mind when you're on social media and you're looking at these people posting six figure days. What about their losses? They're not going over their losses that their six figure day losses because they're bound to happen and they more than likely did happen if they are a real trader. But why aren't they going over it? Keep that in mind. Six, take breaks from the charts. Like I said, when you're trading, you're looking at charts majority of the time. You're not really doing much physically with yourself. It's always good to take breaks because it's only going to help you. When you take these breaks from the chart, you're going to make sure you work on yourself, healthy, do something else. Because if you're staring at these charts for 12 hours straight, it's going to get boring. Trading isn't fun. You're looking at charts. Like, you're looking at charts. You're not really doing much with yourself. So always keep that in mind. Okay. Seven. Trade one session. This is going to keep you from over trading, hurting your mental health because if you're trading multiple sessions you're not going to be sleeping as much as you should which is going to inevitably play a part with your mental health and physical health because you're not sleeping the correct hours a day you're not going to have that energy to continue with your day you're not going to have that energy to work out you're not going to have that energy to go to work you're not going to have the motivation to keep going because you're going to be tired you're going to be sluggish you're not even going to trade you're like okay i'll stay in bed for 30 more minutes it ends up being two hours you missed your trade session now what just have to wait so one thing i recommend everybody does is trade one session learn the characteristics of that session and just stick to it if it doesn't work trade switch sessions but don't trade multiple sessions because it's only going to hurt you in the long run eight have your routine having a routine is very important if you don't have a routine you're going to be very unorganized and it's just going to affect you in the long run if you have a routine make sure you have one session you want to trade you know what times you're trading and that's it and you have a trade plan that you follow and a strategy that you follow and from there keep it like that keep it as a system systematic trading is very key because there's a reason why majority of people fail and it's because these computers these algorithms are killing us traders they are the ones making all of the money these big banks these algos all of them are making the majority of the money why because they have systems that they follow and they don't have human emotions that affect them because they continually do the same thing same thing same thing because they know it works so they keep on doing it and they make so much money the reason why there's billionaires in this trading industry there's a real reason why there's seven figure traders seven figure organizations there's a reason why the banks still trade because they're making so much money that why would they stop and lastly eight nine focus on what needs to be done this plays a part with having goals but focus on yourself like i said don't be on social media focus on what needs to be done focus on what needs to be done to get where you want to be i can't tell you what that is but you know what it is and if you don't you have to work on it because if you don't know what needs to be done there's a high chance that you're not going to do the things that need to be done to get where you want to be and if you don't know the things that need to be done to get to where you want to be how are you going to be where you want to be that's a little bit tough of a tongue twister, but don't, don't look, let that go over your head. Rewind if you have to. But if you don't know what needs to be done to get to where you want to be, how are you going to get to where you want to be? Because you don't know what needs to get done.
symbolize that much. So if you just take a few of these little out of these nine little tips I gave you, nine rules, tips, whatever you want to call them, to just being able to go mentally and psychologically. There's a lot of other things you could personally do. Damn, someone's calling me, but I'm not even gonna answer them. I'm in the middle of recording. But if that's not something that you guys want to do, you gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention to these rules and you gotta follow some of them. Not all of them, but even if you just take that exercise, eating healthy and trading one session, that's gonna take you a long way. And just keep in mind, before I end this video, trading is hard, it's a stressful journey, and it's not as easy as the look. So don't let social media pressure you into thinking that you're not doing what needs to be done. Because at the end of the day, I've been trading for two years now, and it's been the hardest thing ever. And there's people that have been trading nine years, five years, and it's still the hardest thing they've ever done. There's people that are trading 10 years, they haven't even become profitable yet. Keep that in mind. 95% of traders are failing, and there's reasons why. If you know those reasons, you'll keep yourself away from failing and you'll begin to profit. So hopefully this little video was helpful to you guys. Hopefully I taught you something you didn't know and hopefully I gave you a little, some tip that you could take advantage of. Let me know how they are. If they, if you follow these already, then that's good. Make sure to share the video with someone that you think needs this. And that's that. Hopefully this video was informative. Like, comment, subscribe. Now you guys.